I've been building the skeleton of a lowland gorilla. And when thinking about how it senses the world, it strikes me that there's one part of its skeleton that's more important than any other, the skull. Skulls evolved for one function, and that was to house the brain at all costs, protect the brain inside. But since then, they've changed and they've adapted and evolved specifically to become a sensory hub. They allow the sense of smell, hearing, and importantly, the sense of sight. On the outside, it might look like the weird and wonderful sensory organs are formed just from skin and soft tissue. But that couldn't be further from the truth. The bone itself is absolutely vital and the skull is at the center of the bony adaptations for sensing. These adaptations are so clear that I can often work out how an animal hunts, navigates, and avoids being eaten just from looking at its bones. First, I'm going to look at sight, which is the gorilla's most important sense, and that's evident by the large orbits, or eye sockets, in the skull. Now what they do, they allow these incredibly complex, delicate sensory structures, the eyes, to be housed and protected in a way that won't allow them to be damaged or knocked or squished. I mean, the last thing you want is your eye to be ruptured. But more than that, also, it allows a direct transfer of information from the outside world, from the eye, through these little optic canals, right into the brain itself. So at a basic level, the orbits house and protect the delicate eyes. But there's more to these bony sockets than that. Where they're placed in the skull plays a key role in sight. So in my bag, I happen to have two very different skulls. The first of which is a sheep, and I also have a wolf. The thing that interests me most is where their eyes are. Now on the sheep here, you can see the eyes, the eye sockets, are situated right on the side of the head, really far back. And that's because this animal spends a lot of its life head down, on the ground, eating, grazing. And what's going to happen is that something is going to sneak up to it. By having these eye sockets situated way back on the side of its head, it can see almost 360 degrees around it. And this gives amazing peripheral vision.